Okay, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hope for elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And this one here, I don't have, really have a title uh, for the lesson yet, but, you know, I wanted to, uh, you know, read this precept here that inspired me from the elder Ayatun, all right, from his latest video on uh, GMS on air. Okay, he did a video based around, I can't think of the title word for word, but it was based on that we are gods pertaining to Psalms 82 and 6, where the Lord said that we are gods. All right, with a lowercase g, meaning we're gods, which gods also goes, you know, in, in interchangeable with power. We are powers over the other nations. And even there's power within our melanin, you know, within our DNA. But Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, when prophecies be fulfilled and Yahweh Shai return and crack those clouds, you know, Paul may mention how we're all going to be changed. You know, our mind's going to be changed pertaining to the new covenant that, that's going to be activated. You know, when the Lord said he will take out the stony heart and give, us a, and give us a heart of flesh, you know, our bodies are going to be different, you know, and um, we're going to be able to have that power. So Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to draw that power from out of us, which is actually in us, you know. And uh, this is one of the precepts here he made mention in the beginning of this video. Colossians 1 and 16, but I want to read into it and let's just see where we go from there. Hopefully this lesson is edifying. All right. Uh, this is Colossians 1 and 12. It says, giving thanks unto the Father, which have made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. Okay. Now remember the saints are the Israelites. All right. Let me read that again. Giving thanks unto the Father, who's the Father? Yahweh. It says, which have made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. Who is that light? That's Yahweh Shai. The light represents the truth. It says, who have delivered us from the power of darkness and have translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. All right, the son is Yahweh Shai. Now it says, who had delivered us from the power of darkness. Right now we're in darkness, okay? Esau's Edom is ruling. You know, he's ruling this world and all darkness lies deceptions you know even his technology is witchcraft it says who have delivered us from the power of darkness and have translated us into the kingdom of his dear son in whom we have redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sins okay so yahweh shai he laid his life down and spilt his blood and a sac being a sacrifice that ultimate sacrifice lamb all right for the israelites starting with the elect it says in whom we have redemption so we have redemption all right we're not counted out you know esau could try to count us out or still or strive to steal this birthright that was given to us you know but guess what we're not counted out because we have redemption and um just want to do a quick uh quick google search on the word redemption just to shed more light you know like this is this lesson is just in the spirit i don't even know where it's going but hopefully it's edifying right redemption the action of saving or being saved from sin error or evil you know we committed error by transgressing the laws and statutes and commandments of the most high so we what we committed transgression which became what sin so redemption is the action of saving and being saved from sin error or evil you know scripture say in the apocrypha you do no evil and no evil shall come upon you you know because you put you 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 get you get what you, scripture say you reap what you sow what you put in is what you get out so if you put in evil you're going to reap evil if you put in good you're going to reap good and that good is in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. That's why the scriptures say, He that is in trouble come rest with us. All right. Uh, it says, The action of regaining or gaining possession of something in exchange for payment or clearing a debt. Ooh. And the scriptures say, We are debtors. All right. 
you know. Hey, even in a prayer, we're debtors, cause we owe, we owe Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Shit, we owe Yahweh Shai. You know, the way that we can repay, uh, you know, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is that we, you know, repent, get right, and serve the Lord and endure all the way to the end. You know, so that redemption goes a long way. Redemption, the action, the action of saving or being saved from sin, error, or evil. You know, our bodies is in. Our bodies are in error because of sin. Now we die. We taste the sting of death. Eventually, we're gonna be we're gonna conquer the sting of death because we're never gonna die. All right, once Yahweh Shai translates us, man. Once he transfigure our bodies. Okay. So let me uh damn that's let me get back to it. This is Colossians 1 and 13. Who have delivered us from the power of darkness? And have translated us into the kingdom of his dear son, in whom we have redemption through his blood. Now that's why you can't say you can't save yourself, you know. You have to be saved through Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai name is He Savior or He Deliverer. So, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins, who is the image of the invisible power. The firstborn of every creature. All right. So Yahweh Shai is the only begotten son, which actually means he's the first spirit created. And then you have the powers, Alahayim, which was the first spirits created right after Yahweh Shai was created. And that will be called what? The first fruit. And that's the elect. Okay. That's why they've been chosen from what? The beginning. Okay. It says, who is the image of the invisible power? Who's the invisible power? Yahweh. You know, who the world is, uh, you know, claiming to make in their own image. You know, they don't really understand the power, the invisible power. They don't understand Yahweh. They don't know his ways. They despise his ways. You know? It says, who is the image of the invisible power, the firstborn of every creature? Verse 16, for by him... Were all things created that are in heaven and that are in the earth, visible and invisible, <laughs> whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. All praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right. <laughs> so that's letting you know Yahweh Shai created everything, you know, through the blueprint we like to say from Yahweh. You know, he had help with the powers, with the Alahayims. You know, going into the Genesis breakdown and the beginning of creation of, of everything that exists. Because Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, is a king. And guess what? You know, he has employees. He has workers who he created, which are the spirits. You know, start with Yahweh Shai. Then you got the first fruits. You got the angels in heaven that takes on the form of celestial. All right. And if the Father lets them take on the form of man, they can transfigure themselves into a, looking like a man. But their, but their actual first estate is what? That, um, that celestial form. You know, Paul gets into that about, uh, you know, matter of fact, let me, let me get it. Because Paul breaks it down lovely. All right. Okay. All right, here we go. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 15. And um, let me start at verse 36. I'll start at, yeah, 36. It says, thou fool. That which thou sowest is not quickened, except it die. And that which thou sowest, thou sowest not that body that shall be, but bear grain. It may chance of wheat or of some other grain. But Yahweh give it a body as it hath pleased him. For, excuse me, and to every seed his own body. All flesh is not the same flesh. But there is one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of beasts, another another of fishes and another of birds. OK, so that kills that, you know, that worldly saying or man philosophy of when we die or, you know, mainly mainly the gooks, you know, they speak that into it. They speak that up about how we die and then a man could turn back into an animal. He become a dog in his next life or he become an ant, a bird. No, no. It doesn't work. The Most High, he puts a separation within flesh. Okay? It says, all flesh is not the same flesh, but there is one kind of flesh of men, 
another of flesh of beasts, another of fishes, and another of birds. It says there are also celestial bodies, showing you there's spirits, angels, okay, and bodies terrestrial. Terrestrial means terrain, meaning of the earth, and that's what we are right now, of the earth. It says, but the glory of the celestial is one and the glory of the terrestrial is another. So you do have angels and spirits and you also have us, okay, which are in the flesh. It says there is one glory of the sun and another glory of the moon and another glory of the stars. For one star differ from another star in glory. So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. It is raised in ink. It is raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It says it is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. And that's what we're going to eventually become what? Trans uh, uh, extraterrestrials, you could say. OK, because we're going to have the power of the flesh of the earth. And have the power of the spiritual form, the spiritual body, all in one. It says, and so it is written, the first man, Adam, was made a living soul, and the last Adam was made a quickening spirit. All right. Uh, yeah, that's basically the point I want to get from there. But uh, with that being said, matter of fact, let me skip down some here. Because uh, matter of fact, let me continue to read. Okay, because Paul gets into exactly what was said in the beginning of this video. This is 1 Corinthians 15 and 46. It says, how be it, that was not first, which is spiritual, but that which is natural. And afterward, that which is spiritual. The first man of the earth, earthly. The second man is the Lord from heaven. As the earthly, as is the earthly, such are they also that are earthly. And as is the heavenly, such are they also that are heavenly and as we have borne the image of the earthly we shall also bear the image of the heavenly so paul is giving you right here okay the understanding of those new bodies it says now this i say brethren that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of yahweh neither do corruption inherit in corruption so we're going to be made all right and changed into a body of incorruption not corruption but incorruption so we're going to be made perfect it says behold i show you a mystery we shall not all sleep but we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall rise shall rate shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed for the corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality. So we're going to put on immortality, you know, so spiritual powers is a part of our faith. It is a part of the power which we possess through Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So it would be nonsense of you to, you know, laugh and scorn that because that's a part of the gospel. That's a part of the word. That's a part of our perfectness and oneness. Being perfect in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. See? It says, verse 54 So when the corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. You know, and we're heading into some tough times, man. You know, this week, brothers, we did a lesson as a camp sit down after the camp, and how they they talking about jail time and facing fines not taking this digital vaccine you know this is truly the time where esau is 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 is, is uh basically throwing the first you know sort of way you know in my my head how i look at it is that they throwing this first this first uh punch at the lord where they can't turn back you know because when they force this technology injecting your your body with technology that they they could be a god over you that's clearly against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to have to make moves. And that's why uh, brothers should understand that, you know, this week was spiritual. 
You know, I wish we could have went to the Apostles this week uh, to get like this Saturday. You know, they saw it uh, after camp again for the second time or maybe the third time. But I remember, you know, this week they, they saw the, the uh, chariots and then in Chicago, they saw the chariots. So the more and more Esau push and push and force and force and come down hard, the more and more Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to show his marvelous works. So we about to see, we about to see, you know, what we've been waiting on. We about to get what we've been waiting on. And that's to those of the whole four elect. And that's that salvation, man. You know, that power from righteousness is going to shine, baby. You know, so more and more Esau push, the more and more we're closer to getting up out of here. You know, and the more and more Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to show his work, you know. Because it's not going to go smoothly for Esau. You know, scriptures tell us he's going to stand, he's going to stand upon his feet. You know, he's going to be uh, afraid on every side. You know, when they point their arrows at this place and even his own allies. And those arrows represents those nuclear missiles. You know, so these elites, you're not going to be whining and diming and smiling and giggling and laughing, you know, at the orders they pushing and seeing everybody go according to their plan. You know, they're in a trick bag. So anyway... Uh, 1 Corinthians in um, 15 and, and 55, O death, where is thou sting? O grave, where is thou victory? It says the sting of death is sin and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to Yahweh, which giveth us the victory through our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, man. You know, call Halal La Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because we truly have the victory, man. You know, all we doing is just playing it out. We got the victory. All right, not Esau. It says, therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. So all this work we do, and brothers just push every day and, and do what we have to do. You know, our work is not in vain. You know, like I said, I don't have a title for this lesson. I didn't know where, where this lesson was going to go. I just hope that it's edifying to those of the whole four elect. All right. I got one more precept I wanted to bring out. And, uh, you know, hopefully the Lord tie this thing, everything together, you know, because I just had precepts and I'm just going with the precepts that I had. Like I said, I was inspired by the video Elder Aya Dunn did with the precept he brought out in Colossians in the beginning of his latest video, you know, dealing with us being that power, you know, being the gods of the earth. You know, the gods over the other nations. Now, this is Isaiah chapter 40. Uh, matter of fact, let me, you know, let's, I'm going to read from one and I'm going to jump. It says, comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, say, say if your power. It says, speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem. Now, Jerusalem is a people before a place. That's us, the Israelites. It says, and cry unto her that her warfare is not, is, excuse me, that her warfare is accomplished. That her iniquity is pardoned, for she hath received of the of the Lord's hand double for all her sins. All right, you know, because we're coming into that time where our captivity is us about up, man. You know, Jake is at his worst. You know, you got Chicago right now. They saying that's rioting and stuff and looting. You got rioting and looting going around throughout the world. You see Jake at his worst right now. But guess what? Our captivity is about up. OK, now, verse three, it says the voice of him that cried in the wilderness. Uh oh, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Yahweh make straight in the desert a highway for our power. All right. And you know who won that cry in the wilderness? That was John the Baptist. All right. You know, which was who? Elijah. All right. So uh, let me jump down. And let me read this precept and then I'm going to call it a show. This is Isaiah 40 and 28. Has thou not known? Has thou not heard that the everlasting power, Yahweh, the creator of ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint and to them that have not, that have no power, he increaseth strength. You know, we don't got no power. We don't got no army. OK, we don't got no, you know, bro, we're not the real men of the Lord. We're not stacking up on those fucking dumbass weapons. Esau's blessings, you know, brothers ain't got nothing, man. 
nothing but this word and our faith, man. You know, and our belief and, and faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So who's the Lord going to be dealing with? As we read, it says he giveth power to the faint and to them that have no might. He increaseth strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary and the young men shall utterly fall. Now, here's the point. It says, but they that wait upon the Lord. OK, Yahweh. But they that wait upon Yahweh shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary and they shall walk and not faint. All right. That's spiritual powers, man. That's what's going to be activated, you know, and, and brothers translated or transfigured, you know, into that, into that, into that power, man. You know, that we so wait, wait so long for, long suffering for, man. You know, so I hope this lesson was edifying. All right. Like I said before, I didn't have a title. I didn't know where this lesson was going to go. It was straight precepts. I hope you were edified. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashim Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.